Hello everybody, Ms. Andrea here, and today we're going to talk about snowflakes. We are going to read about snowflakes. Winter is the time for snow. Why does it snow in the winter? The winter season brings cold temperatures. When the temperature is below 32 degrees, it can snow. Clouds hold water vapor. The water in the clouds can bring rain, snow, or ice. When the temperature is freezing below 32 degrees, water vapor turns into ice crystals. These ice crystals build as more water in the clouds connect to the crystals. The ice crystals get heavy in the cloud and fall from the sky as snowflakes. Most snowflakes fall at a speed of one mile per hour. It takes about two hours for a snowflake to fall to the ground after leaving the cloud. A snowflake has six sides. This is called a hexagon. It is like six arms reaching out from the center of the ice crystal. Each snowflake is different from another snowflake. It is often said that no two snowflakes are alike. As snowflakes fall to the ground, they bump into other snowflakes. By the time the snowflake reaches the ground, it probably does not have six sides any longer. Some will get bumped off. Two snowflakes may stick together. Almost every place in the United States has had snow. The most snow recorded fell at Mount Baker in the state of Washington in the winter of 1998. Over 1,000 inches of snow fell on Mount Baker. It has never snowed in the Florida Keys. The weather is too warm for snow. Create a paper snowflake. Number one. Trace a paper plate on a white sheet of paper. Cut out the circle. Number two, fold the circle in half. Now fold this in three parts. Number three, cut triangle shapes on each side of the folded paper. Number four, open the paper to see your snowflake. And there's a picture here with some examples. Next, we are going to talk about some questions that we read about. So in our reading, what did it say? When is it time for snow? Winter or summer? It said winter is time for snow. What type of temperature do snowflakes need? Freezing temperature or hot temperature? What did we read about? We read that it needs to be freezing for snowflakes. What is true about every snowflake? They are the same same. They are different. Different. We read that they are different. We read that every snowflake is different. Next, we're going to take a look at some examples that people have made at their homes um, of different types of projects with snowflakes in case this inspires you to make a snowflake this winter. So one project was the paper snowflake that we read about at the end of our reading. Next is painted snowflakes. This one is used forks. But you could use other things, right? You could use a paintbrush, fingers, different tools to paint 
snowflakes. In this project, coat hangers were put together to build a snowflake. This project used Q-tips to build a snowflake. And finally, in this project is a recipe to make the snowflake. They use Rice Krispies and some decorations. So if you decide to make a snowflake project at home, here are some suggested core words to use. Yes, no, more, finished. I, and some things you might say, I like, I help, I put, I make, All right, everybody, thank you for joining me and learning some more about snowflakes. And I hope that you are having a great winter. Bye.